The results are in. We tested Okanagan Lake to determine how clean the water actually is. We met with a UBC biologist to examine the test results. If you look at this, at this data, and you would say the sample that you collected is potable. These are just ions that, you know, they're only problematic when they're in huge abundance and they're not. The next section is related to the, the alkalinity hardness of water and it's not outside of guidelines and for some people maybe it's harder than they want it, but it's not an issue at all. And then the metals. Uh, the metals are very, very, very low, way below the maximum allowable concentrations for drinking water. Would I drink Okanagan Lake water? I wouldn't because I have access to Okanagan Lake water that's also gone through a treatment system. Is there anything that would be troublesome that we didn't test for? Mm, good question. Well, I guess the easy answer is it would be hard to think of a problem parameter in our lakes. Red rocks found along numerous beachfronts in Kelowna prompted us to do the test. They're red because there's rust on them. <laughs> the iron that accumulated on those rocks that stained them red almost certainly came from the subsurface uh, the, and was mobilized when the lake level was dropped. And in doing so, exposed this form of iron that's precipitates readily when it's exposed to oxygen. Okanagan Lake is, and the main stem lakes are great water bodies. Like they, there's reason that people come from all over to, you know, enjoy the amenity value of these lakes. Okanagan Lake is in the clear, so enjoy the water. For Castlenet News, I'm Alana Kelly at Gyro Beach. Find your next boat, bike, RV, or snowmobile in our Power Sports section. You can find it in the Classifieds button on the yellow masthead.